Okay, this is Ona with Art of Awakening. Welcome back. And uh, if you're new, a big welcome to you as well. And so, as you may know, I, I do a lot of work with spirit animals, and sometimes people reach out to me with questions. And so today I got this email. What if you are on a spiritual journey for almost three decades of inner work and clearing, and you meet up with bad bugs at this late state of the journey? I feel I'm way past being bothered by anything or anyone annoying. I'm a very centered being. We're desperately trying to figure out the symbolism of these creatures on our path right now. Do you have any wisdom to impart to us? We are in a very helpless situation, but accept all of it. I never think of myself as knowing it all, but my husband and I have been living a spiritual life wholly and completely for 28 terrifying years with no break and to arrive along our path with these critters. <laughs> Shocking. Um, yeah. Bed bugs. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, you know what? Every single creature, they're all God's creatures. They are all beautiful in their own way. There is no right or wrong in the animal world, but some of them, this one in particular is <laughs> kind of a hard one to learn to love. Right. Um, and the thing with the, the interesting thing is that this is the second person, the like second highly spiritual person that's reached out to me or, or at least, you know, communicated to me this week that they're dealing with bed, bed bugs. So typically with spirit animals, I, I like to look for the rule of three. If there's three that um, come up, you know, kind of three in a row, that's really a, a big sign that there's something and some message there. I'm not going to wait for the third one on this one. <laughs> I'm not going to tempt fate that way. So um, so I'm just like kind of feeling this is a message, not just for these individuals, but for the collective. All right. So let's look into bed bugs. And um, typically when I look into a spirit animal meeting, um, I'll do a little research on the animal. And uh, so I went online, hopped on Google, and it looks like we've had a lot like in the past 10 years, there's been a resurgence in bed bugs. Now, bed bugs have been plaguing humanity since ancient times, so they're nothing new. Um, but in the 20th century, there was, at least in the United States, there was, a, um, you know, well, we came out with the pesticides and all that, and a lot less. So if you uh, kind of grew up in the 70s, 80s, you know, um, even maybe into the 90s, you may not have, you know, had to deal with bed bugs much, but apparently in the last 10 years, there's been a lot, a lot, a lot more. And um, so a couple of things about bed bugs, they uh, feed exclusively on bugs, okay? Or excuse me, they are bugs, they feed exclusively on blood. Okay, so this is the quintessential vampire archetype, right? We think of mosquito as a vampire or spider, but bed bugs, really, they don't eat anything else. It's just blood. And humans are absolutely their preferred host. They prefer, they'd rather eat one of us than anything else out there. Okay, so these are bugs that um, some insects will go through three different phases, like a butterfly, like um, or a couple different, like, okay, egg, caterpillar. These are actually ones that don't go through that, um, that chrysalis stage. Okay, so they're similar to a grasshopper in that they go through different, what are called instars or different molts, right? Uh, as they grow from a very small bed bug to a large one. Okay, so these are the nymph stages and they have five different stages. Okay, so they have five instars and they, they shed their skin five times. They need a blood meal between each one. Okay, and we're gonna come back to that because the number five is significant and, and the whole blood thing. Um, but they are not known to carry disease, right? So even though they're they're nasty, they're icky, we don't like them, you know, they, they, they cause, um, anxiety, right? <laughs> it's like you even think about bed bugs. It's like, ooh, you feel itchy, stressful, anxious, kind of that's what they kind of cause, right? Um, they are very, very sneaky. They're really hard. They don't, they don't like the light at all. They really avoid light. So a lot of times it's like you're not going to actually see the bed bugs. You just see the signs of them. Um, and they're very, very tiny. So they can creep into tiny little crevices. Um, all right, so let's look a little bit up 
into the uh, symbolism here, okay? Because it's really, really significant for this time right now. I am recording this on July, what is it? July 6th, 2019. So we just passed the, the summer solstice. We just had, you know, we're right in the middle of eclipse season, but this has been like, this is kind of like a huge shift, right? This is really right now, right now, this month, you know, last month, right around the solstice here, we're really shifting big time into a, a resurgence of the divine feminine, of not just the divine feminine, but uh, a coming together of the feminine and masculine. We're coming into a new age, really are. Um, we're, we're seeing kind of coming into 4D Earth, starting to leave 3D behind. Um, you know, things are actually looking up. Like the, the 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 planet herself is ascending. A lot of us are sending with ascending. You know, helping with that process. Um, so it, and and what I'm seeing with this bed bug thing coming up, with these bed, resurgence of bed bugs, it is really a um, a message for those of us who are spiritually aware, who have been doing the work. Okay, um, and here are a, a few of the things. Um, the number five, and remember they're shedding their skin five times, that is associated with change, okay? This is like one of the most tremendous periods of change in human history right now, right now as we speak, okay? So, you know, the, where there's change, there's going to be upset, there's going to be, um, you know, things coming up. We're changing from a, a really dark period of human history to a very illumined light period, okay? There's always going to be, um, you know, what's the saying? Um, for each action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. There, that is a physical, you know, law of physics, a law of nature. We're going to see a resurgence of dark energies. These bud bugs, um, you know, they they do have that symbolism, right? They've got that connotation, the dark, the vampiric. Um, let's look a little bit into the. Um, oh, let me just kind of continue that thought. So, so. As we ascend, as the consciousness rises on the earth, you're going to see some resistance. So you're going to see some of this dark stuff really coming forward. It's being flushed out. Okay. Um, so, you know, just to understand that, interesting that it's bed bugs and not something like a mosquito is also a blood sucker, but mosquitoes do carry very harmful diseases, right? Bed bugs don't. Okay, so what this is telling me is like, yes, we're seeing a resurgence of darkness. You know, we may see this in politics. We may see this in the weather. We may see this in all sorts of things, but ultimately, and and yeah, it's going to cause some itchy. It's going to cause some anxiety. It's going to, um, you know, for certain individuals, you know, this isn't to say that that nobody's going to suffer, right? Um, there, there will probably be suffering involved. But ultimately, if you take the big picture, this is not something, you know, that, that I shouldn't say not to worry, right? Okay, so let's not worry about it. Okay, yes, we need to be concerned. Yes, we need to be vigilant. We'll get to that later. But um, it is not a cause for like freaking out. It's simply a fact that we're, you know, the darkness is out there. Um, and okay, so let's look at this darkness, this particular dark darkness, this vampire archetype. Okay, um, so I just mentioned this kind of harmonizing and balance of masculine and feminine that we're moving into, and we're just starting to move into this is kind of a big age, so it's going to be probably beyond any of our lifetimes where this is, is really going to be developing, right? So we're just at the very cutting edge of it. Um, so the, the, the vampire archetype is the shadow side of that. So masculine and feminine balance, that's divine creation. You know, masculine and feminine come together and boom, we've got life, right? That's beautiful, right? And that is that is life. I mean, that's the expansion, um, you know, expansion of consciousness. That is, um, you know, the the status quo. I mean, that's that's the normal um, dominant aspect of nature, right? It's the divine nature. Okay, so the vampire is the shadow side of that. So anywhere in nature, okay, and this includes those, so this is all of creation, everything. Everything, it's all got a shadow side and the shadow side is part and parcel of everything, okay? So the vampire archetype is the shadow of divine, of divine creation. It feeds off of life instead of giving life, okay? So 
And that's why it's coming forward right now, big time. Okay. This does not mean necessarily, okay, if it's if it's coming forward for you and you've been doing the work and you've been um you know just let me explain this other person that i that i that i mentioned like um she's been doing the work she's very highly uh, you know uh, a conscious person in fact she's about you know she's really coming into her power she's about to you know um step out and help people in a big way that's going to have a lot of impact it's beautiful all right and she calls me and she says I've got bad bugs, right? Okay, so this is just like one of those little things that okay, it's 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 telling us okay, just just be aware, okay, and it's just a little reality check for those of us who are on the spiritual path, and um, so here is where I'm seeing the messages, okay, so um. One is, um, and, and like I said, any spirit animal um, is going to have a dark side and a light side. So we're going to be getting to the light side of bed bug, and believe it or not, they do have a light side. You know, maybe so much, but they do have a lesson. Okay, they have a beautiful lesson, a couple of them to teach, and, and that's what I mean by light side. They are they are really a wonderful teacher. Okay, so um, the, the first, of course, is to really, uh, it, it's vigilance and it's awareness. Okay, so heightened awareness because with these bed bugs, um, they can be found anywhere, right? Um, and they're really hard to see. You can't see them, right? Um, so you have to look for signs of them and you have to be very vigilant about that because a single pregnant female bed bug one okay um she sneaks in there and before you know it within six months she can have five thousand offspring <laughs> pretty cool eh? um not so cool if, if it happens to you so um so part of this is just really vigilance and um to like at this time in particular and this is the second time this you know, actually third time this message has come forward for me for this particular couple months coming up is that this is a really, really important time to be spiritually vigilant, okay? To, you know, do look the gift horse in the mouth, to do look, you know, just this doesn't mean to be paranoid, but it does mean to really be aware, okay? Um, what does that mean? Well, um, If something comes forward for you, rather than just being very quick to assume one thing or another or to accept things, especially accepting things into your field, uh, just it's it's a call to be very aware of what's coming into your field, you know, or what you're allowing in your field or what is already in your field, right? And it's a call to go even deeper with the purification. We've just come out of a couple of years of intense, intense, intense months and months and months of purification. And for some of us, it's feeling like, oh, those energy, the heavy, heavy energy. Some, not all of us. Okay, you may still be going through that. But for those of us who have had a little bit of a respite in the past, maybe a, a breakthrough or something in the past couple of weeks, for those of us, that, or or you know, if that's coming for you, um, this is just a heads up that that does not mean to stop being vigilant. Okay, it means that you know, uh, yes, it's a it's a breathing period and, and to be grateful for that, but it doesn't mean that you can just like kind of let everything hang out, right? So it's still very important to hold ourselves to the light. Okay, so maintain your uh, um, routines of prayer, of meditation, of, you know, gratitude, um, you know, anything that you do to hold yourself to the light. Don't let up on that right now, okay? Well, probably not ever, but, but especially right now, don't let up on that. Maintain that, okay, every day. Um, you know, every time you think of it, just, just, you know, maintain the gratitude, maintain that, that beautiful um, energy field of yours. 
it is also a um, a call to kind of look deeper. It's like, okay, um, really allow your emotions and your feelings and your body, um, and you know every every aspect of you, the intuitive, the mental, right? If you're noticing things that don't seem you know, quite to line up. Um, if you're if you're having emotions that aren't feeling good, um, if your body is giving you signals, it, it, be very aware of these things right now, okay? Um, because I think I mentioned in a recent video, every little thing, you know, everything affects us, right? We're, we're all related to everything. And so things are either going to help to bring you up, help to raise your consciousness, raise your vibration, or they're going to start to depress it, to bring it down. Okay. You know, that's, that's the vampire. So to be very, very aware, if you can get that one little bed bug when it's one bed bug, how much easier is that than, you know, just missing that bed bug and letting it explode into 5,000 in six months from now, right? Um, so the more vigilant we are, we can catch these things sooner or maybe go deeper because they'll, they'll burrow into the, the deep crevices, right? So um, if you're somebody who's done a lot of work and I hear you, I mean, some of us have been at this for years and years and years. Um, like, like personally, even before I was, you know, quote unquote, you know, in the, the awakening process, I was like having some massive purification. I've been purifying for 20 years, right? You know, physically or, or you know, whatever it is. Um, so a lot of us have been on that path. And a lot of us have rightfully like feel that like, oh, we've come a long way. And that's really, really good. In fact, that's a great thing. Look back and see how far have you come, right? Pat yourself on the back. But also, it means like there's always going to be, always will be deeper layers, no matter how, you know, enlightened we become. There's there's always going to be deeper layers. That is the nature of <laughs> of everything, right? Um, there's always a shadow side. So, um, all right. So, so part of it is just a, um, just a caution about pride, right? And I'm not saying that this person who emailed me, you know, I'm not I'm not laying any kind of judgment. Um, I, I'm seeing it as a caution for myself as well as anybody else. Um, but but just to be aware that it is really easy to fall into this, you know, oh, you know, I'm, I'm already there. Um, and honestly, remember that bed bugs, it's not a case of. Um, you know, they can be found anywhere, even a pristine home, you can have bed bugs. Okay, they can be found in apartments, they can be found in condos, they can be found, um, you know, even like an airline seat, your, your first class airline seat could have a bed bug in it. Okay, I'm not trying to make anybody feel, feel um, you know, paranoid, but literally they can be found anywhere, any home. Okay, so basically, if you're human, you got to watch out for these things. All right. Um, so what's the light side of this? Um, I'm seeing it as, um, you know, they're the great equalizer, bed books. OK, there's a couple things here. Um, one, a, 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 like a strength of bed bug is going to be um, it's going to be the the persistence, the what do you say? Um, they're very resilient. A bed bug can live for two to two months to a year without food. Okay, so it's the survival, real survival. Okay, so one call, one lesson of the bed bug is um, it's just calling attention to um, that survival. And uh, where I'm seeing it is like to really a call to really strengthen the root chakra. Okay, work with and ground, grounding, grounding, grounding. Okay, that blood that red color, this is all root chakra stuff. And um, so be very aware of any anxiety in your field, okay? Um, sometimes we may not know that we're suffering from anxiety because we don't think of us ourselves, you know, some of us don't think of ourselves as anxious, but if you find yourself, um, you know, for instance, with me, it's like, oh, I go get a snack, I get a snack or whatever, <laughs> right? You know, some of those little compulsive behaviors, 
uh, and they can sneak up on us or sleeplessness, um, you know, those little itchy things that happen to you that you feel antsy, um, irritability, any of this um, can be related to anxiety, grounding and making sure that we're taking care of our physical bodies. Uh, very, very important. Uh, spend time with the earth, spend time with nature that will really help to alleviate this anxiety. Um, so, so any kind of grounding work that is a really good thing to do right now. Um, and let's see, what else was I going to say? Um, seems like there was something I'm forgetting, but maybe I'll, I'll get back to it. I'll, if, if there's a, if I'm not remembering anything, I will put it down in the description if, if it comes to me later. Okay. And then, like I was saying, bed bugs are the great equalizer. If you're human, you're susceptible. And it's whether you're poor, whether you're rich, whether you have a clean house, whether you have a messy house, you know, whatever it is, you can all, you can get bed bugs and it's not a reflection on who you are. Okay. So this is really the lesson here is compassion. Okay. Um, you know, these are the times that we live in. And so part of it, you know, just, just look and see where you may have been judgmental, not, you know, maybe of yourself, you know, maybe of yourself, maybe of somebody else, maybe yourself. So maybe a call for, it. even if you feel like, you know, you've dealt with a lot of stuff on the outside, maybe even deeper inside, where might you need to forgive yourself or forgive spirit, right? I was really mad at spirit the other night. <laughs> I was just like, kind of, I just came out of like a, a big long cycle of, of that was kind of traumatic. And <laughs> it finally came home to me. It's like, Spirit, you put me through this. <laughs> Just like, oh. So I had to go through this whole forgiveness thing, right? Um, and, and and part of that was forgiving myself, right? So calling for forgiveness, but calling for compassion, for calling for compassion, and also seeing where others are on their path, right? Um, you know, realizing that we all are human. And we've all got a dark side and also compassion for that dark side because it's simply a part of all that is, right? And when we fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, you know, um, it, it it just causes more anxiety. So like, you know, if you do have bed bugs, <laughs> um, this could be just a teacher because it's like, you have to go through all this stuff. You got to vacuum, you got to, I don't know, steam the beds, whatever. Um, it, it, it's a major pain. It's very stressful. And sometimes these things come forward to just say, hey, you know, sometimes it's it's just a, a final exam, right? Like if you've been doing a lot of work or whatever, it's something like this will come up. It's sort of like, okay, how, let's test you and see, you know, see how you're doing. Like you, you learn the work, but let's just give you this little test and, and, you know, so for for this person who wrote and this other friend of mine, you know, this could be just like, okay, you've attained a really high level. This is the bar, right? <laughs> and see how you handle this. And then, you know, if you do well with this, I'm gonna get you it on another level. Maybe, hopefully, there will be some rewards and some manifestation and some some uh, wonderful things coming in from that. Um. Okay, and then finally, of course, it's the harmonization of the masculine feminine balance. So be aware of that within yourself that is like respect for both masculine and feminine, um, having unconditional love as well as maintaining boundaries, both. We need to do both, right? So the, the boundaries are super important because if you don't hold those boundaries, if you're not like really solid and, you know, then, then it can let things in. And let me tell you a little bit about the bed bug reproductive because they're, it's really awful, right? So um, I, there's a term for it, but I don't remember what it is, but instead of like regular mating, uh, the bed bug is actually, it's like they, they, it's rape basically. It's like the male bed bug has, he just penetrates through the, the female's abdomen. It's really awful. And I mean, I mean, we're not, I'm not a bed bug. So I think it's off, <laughs> you know, just from a very human perspective. Um, so, so it's very, it's a traumatic, you know, kind of 
male female relationship that the bed bugs have in fact it's like documented that the females will try to escape right and 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 this very violent sort of penetration um you know that that is bed bug right uh energy so it's like this the the again it's like this this masculine feminine balance and so this is really we need to be very vigilant to to hold to to hold the other side right um vigilant in our respect of both masculine and feminine because they both have their dark side they both have their light side and we really want to hold to the light so everything about this bed bug is hold to the light and that means like honor the light and the divine masculine right now honor the divine feminine really focus on that okay that's going to be more productive than harping away at at um you know the the darkness that is associated with either okay um it's it's really important like bringing in the light on that kind that that balance um so and and that means like the divine masculine helps us to maintain the boundaries that we need to maintain in in order to be you know maintain our truth right it's all about truth divine feminine on un, this unconditional love and and compassion right so hopefully um this has helped if you're dealing with bed bugs or if you are simply just tuning in right now at this time of this energy update, um, just some things to be aware of. And just the message for this energy update is really being brought to us by bed bug. So I want to give thanks to the bed bugs <laughs> as well as every other animal out there. Um, you know, plant totems as well. Uh, thanks to nature. And thank you so much to uh, the person who emailed me. I really do, um, you know, appreciate that. I, I see it as a real heads up, this message from Bedbug. And um, I know it's it's a funny topic in its own way, but I think I hope that people take it seriously. Um, all right. So hope you've enjoyed. And, uh, you know, I always appreciate your comments, your likes, your subscribes, and catch you again soon.